We're given the sum from n equals 1 to infinity, 1 over n to the nth power. So we want to see if this is convergent or divergent. We're going to use two tests here. First, let's use the root test. So for the root test, we're going to take the nth root. So a sub n is 1 over n to the nth power. So we're going to be taking the nth root of that, which will eliminate the nth root. So it's going to eliminate that. Okay, so now we can instead write the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over n. And we know that this is 0, therefore the series converges. Okay, now we can use the ratio test. So for the ratio test, we want to look at the n plus first term over the nth term. And then we're going to be taking the limit as n approaches infinity. So for the n plus first term, we're going to replace every n with n plus 1. And then we're just going to leave the nth term like that. Okay, so now we can simplify this. Because we're dividing by a fraction, this is really the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. Okay, so now let's simplify this further. We have the limit as n approaches infinity of n to the n over n plus 1 to the n plus 1 power. And I'm going to line it up so that they both have the same exponent. So I'm going to have to break up the denominator as n plus 1 times n plus 1 to the nth power. And then leave the numerator the same. So here I can factor out the, the nth exponent. So I can just have it as n over n plus 1 all to the nth power and then 1 over n plus 1 like this. Okay. So we can split this up. Um, we know that this limit is 0. And the n over n plus 1 to the n power is tricky. So in order to find the limit of that, what we're going to do is replace it. Well, there's a couple ways to do it. First, uh, let me show you this way. We can make n in terms of n plus 1 minus 1. because the ones cancel. And then I can break it up into two fractions. It'll be n plus 1 over n plus 1 minus 1 over n plus 1 all raised to the nth power. And this just becomes 1. Now whether I have to the nth power or n plus first power, it doesn't really matter. This is really the same thing as limit as n approaches infinity of 1 minus 1 over n to the nth power. Okay, because n plus 1 here and n is basically the same thing. They're both going to infinity. And we know that this is going to be e to the negative 1 power. Okay, so we know that this limit goes to 0 and this limit we found out to be going to 1 over e. So I have 0 times 1 over e is 0. This is less than 1. So this converges by the ratio test.